Brody starts getting spun, and uh, he's spinning fast. Claudio is not half-assing this spin. Brody's got his arm straight out like this. It's like he's on a ride at Disneyland. He looked like he was having so much fun on this giant spin. Those three dweebs, we're not going to neck the halls with them. You two are going to beat their ass! It was amazing. He said ass with such fury. <laughs> the, the, the pause. My wife is texting me right now, <laughs> wondering why I'm upstairs screaming ass. And he said the only people in the locker room that have been here for the both of you are the House of Black. Am I in an alternate universe where the House of Black are the only friends that FTR has ever had in AEW? And that they have been working to recruit them for weeks now? Where in the fuck have I been? I don't remember any of this. <laughs> what was this? Not one part of it do I remember. You have not met this version of Sky Blue. None of this will stop you from taking your title. I will have my chin up, my tits out, and I'm going to shove your shoe straight up your ass. I'll turn in for that. <laughs> oh, my favorite. I actually wrote I this. will actually say this is the worst of AEW. <laughs> my I, most hated storyline in this entire company. This is the worst of AEW. And it never, it never gets any better. Yeah, it never goes anywhere. It just runs in place. No! <laughs> Thank God we then went to the best of yeah. AEW. This was mm-hmm. this was the best of AEW in a long time. I'm pretty sure this was the best match in the tournament. So far. Yes. Oh, yeah. The Britt Baker tweet, I don't know. Whether she was actually mad or whether she was uh, doing a storyline tweet, the fact right. of the matter is she's not wrong! Yeah. First here says, considering the complaint that women don't get a lot of time on television, do you think that would hinder the chance of Mercedes going to AEW? Bro, mm-hmm. I don't think there's any chance she's going to AEW. Everybody's in a shitty mood. Horrible, horrible rainstorm all day in the Seattle area. So everyone's going down this off ramp. They're just parked. I see the sign, no driving on shoulder. But uh, clearly, this is an unusual circumstance. So I pull off and I'm driving down the shoulder and I'm maybe 20 yards. There's a car stopped in front of me on the shoulder and nothing between them and the turn, but about 20 feet of open pavement. Don't want to go to prison. So I didn't like knock on the door or anything, but I kind of gestured. We we want to go this way. If you go over here, we can go that way. She says, well, I don't want to do that because there's, there's no driving on the shoulder. She didn't want to drive on the shoulder, but she was parked on the shoulder? Correct. And she says, no, I'm going to wait my turn. And she closed the door. Why didn't you call the police? I did everything right. And it took one stupid, selfish person to ruin my night. Wow. What's the worst Christmas, Christmas present you ever received? My ex-girlfriend gave me an STD and I dumped her. <laughs> wow. 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 Is that in a stocking? Remember last week you were talking about Kurt Angle and... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Okay. Par for the course today. Granny, you ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's hear it. Brown, remember last week you were talking about Kurt Angle and... Uh, oh, no, not again. Steve Austin. Steve Austin, yes. Forgiven 2001. <laughs> Forgiven. Forgiven. <laughs> Today is a different day. Granny, we're going to wrap it up. Okay. Got to get moving here. Oh, wait a minute. Just a second. Okay. I'm <laughs> sure this must that. be done on the air. I didn't like Bill Mercer. You did a good job. He was an actual professional before he got into professional yeah. wrestling. This guy was not a professional wrestler. He was just an announcer. Yes. He had gig marks on his forehead. It's a rough job, brother. <sighs> anyway. Flair was absolutely awesome. Awesome in this interview segment. He's got a fresh layer of Neosporin on his forehead. He's got a uh, blue. Flair's forehead was so fucking disgusting, <laughs> dude. Oh, my God. Our own Lance Storm joining us here today. Suckered into watching another week of NXT. (laughs) Yes. As well as AEW. I thought this was a very good match. I think the first match that they had was better. This was. when you do that. uh, Why? You and Dave. It's like you take the joy out of everything. I don't take the joy out of it. This match was awesome. You'll you'll say that this match is great and go, I don't think it's as good as the one he had two years ago. Well, you know, that's my... Who the fuck cares? Like, every time you kiss your wife, do you compare and go, I don't know if that was as good as the last night. Yeah, I go, damn, it was better last night. What are you doing, lady? Maybe you should try that. They fucked up the entire scoring system of the tournament by acknowledging that they both should have been counted out but weren't. 
So the referee decides to fuck over everyone else in the in the league. Oh, well, it's the referee's fault. Yeah. What does Tommy Dreamer say? You got a cyborg brain? Well, not just Tommy. It's pretty much everybody in Impact and Don Callis. Some Jeff shows up. He says, man, that match was awesome. Amazing watching two guys battle it out to see who could get more STDs. Swerve game a suplex off the barricade to the floor. Yes, this is where like they were sucked. out there for 90 full seconds. Yes. I think it was 98, actually. I timed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Why does that not surprise me, Lance? You've got the Lance Storm outside the ring timer. MGF is laid out and surrounded by broken glass. Taz notes, we never saw who actually attacked MJF. I'll bet it was Carmelo Hayes, to be honest. <laughs> That's my guess. Lexus King. Yeah. What is Tony's gimmick? Like, what is she? <laughs> she thinks it's 1940. I know you're not supposed to, you know, uh, make light of head injuries or anything like that, but this should have started with her getting her bell rung and then waking up and thinking it's 1940 and she's some actress in a in some Hollywood film. Then we had Jay White and Jay Lethal. Fans chanted, let's go, Jay. Oh, Thank you, wanna... Jay. Jay, from Vince would have lost his mind watching I, this uh, match. I was losing mine. I was oh, beginning to come hate on. the Montreal crowd. They're you're, usually awesome. But... You're no fun. She comes down to the ring, grabs the belt, looks back and forth, and clobbers Adam with the belt. The ref is down, and you can see him going, go, go, go! You could hear him like crazy. Christian covers him. Yeah, because he knew that YouTube TV was going to fuck this all up if they didn't get this finish down quick. Alvarez needs his finish. Yes. Hurry up. Thank, thank you, Bryce, if you're listening. Thank you. You made the right call. And then Christian covered him and pinned him. We got the men's breakout tournament coming. Oh, my God. On this fucking show, you've got to show us 18 more faces and 18 names in like 18 seconds. Hey, at least they showed us names this time. How many of them did you remember? None. You guys got to watch the body slam to see how impressive it is. Otis starts to go up for her, but he's going forward, and she ends up starting to go backwards. Yes. So she, she has to hold his momentum. him. Yep, step she backwards. She stops Otis's momentum. She stops his momentum and holds him upside down. Yes. And she slams this guy. And this fucking place goes batshit crazy for this body slam. This was every bit as impressive, perhaps even more because Otis was running, than Will Hobbs body slamming the big show on the car. Oh, I think this was this was much more impressive. Hey, uh, Jericho just tweeted, Lance Storm defeated Lionheart in war. This yeah. was uh, 28 years ago today. Oh. All right, Lionheart, here's a chance. We've tagged in the States and in Canada, but now you've made a big name for yourself in Japan, and I'm here for my chance to prove myself on your home ground. See who the better man is. We've tagged three years off and on, but now's our chance. Single match, WAR in Japan, your home turf. Let's see who the better man is. Holy smokes, Lance. Just put my breakout graphic below. Jiminy Christmas. Lance is here burying NXT. Did you guys hear that fucking promo? Was that the breakout tournament? Then Lexus King does a promo. He says, everyone's talking about this leaked footage. No, everybody's talking about his beard. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> the only person that can destroy the dragon is the dragon himself. And he starts smiling at Corbin. And now Corbin's like, what the fuck is going on here? Now he's all freaked out. And then the dudes from the Amends Iron Survivor brawl out. Braun Spears tricked through the table in the corner. Tyler lays out Dijak. Show goes off the air. I thought it was an excellent main event segment. 